Look at the lovely weather. Past few days we've been continuing to cruise down in the trade winds towards Hawaii on a course of 230 degrees, 235 degrees more precisely with just mainsail alone. Uh, part of the reason was that uh, when we had uh, wing to wing set up with uh, jib and the main up going straight downwind we were constantly having to deal with a jibe, accidental jibes. Um, as there is rocky seas, we're not just cruising smoothly down over the seas. But we did uh, attempt to put out the whisker pole again right now with the jib, and we have tacked twice since we put it out. It's definitely a bit annoying. It's a bit of a violent motion. It does not uh, sound good or feel good for the boat. But uh, we also wanted to balance out the boat by putting out the whisker pole and seeing if it would uh, ease up the rocking of the boat, which has been pretty consistent and uh, somewhat challenging. For the past, uh, I don't know, four or five days, this boat uh, just—it's—it's—it's uh, it's, it's wobbly when it goes down downwind. It's a pretty narrow beam. We had uh, eggs and tortillas and beans for breakfast, and uh, life is pretty normal out here on the ocean. We have about two meter waves. Wind is blowing right now at about uh, 15 to 20 knots. Uh, we are currently a little over 500 miles to Hawaii now, so uh, if we keep going at the pace we have been for these past few days, then we're uh, under a week to there, potentially only five more days, uh, as long as uh, Dolce holds up here. There's a small little hole in the mainsail that I noticed this morning because of it was rubbing off of the spreaders. Uh, definitely not good. Laundry machine on board Dolce. This is the clothes washing machine. Ocean powered, wave powered. We've been cruising now in the trade winds for almost a week, if not more, making pretty consistent 100 miles a day. But today was our longest yet of 126 nautical miles towards Hilo Bay. Actually for the majority of the day it was quite sunny. We found a, a sort of sunny break in the clouds and it got quite hot. Uh, definitely a day to stay hydrated. Had some uh, cream and peach pancakes this morning. Dave whipped them up when he got up. That was delicious. Yeah, we just ate some sag paneer. See some shear waters out on the ocean too recently. I've been seeing these uh, white birds with a uh, thin white tail, thin tailed white doves or something like that. <laughs> um, they tend to come around in uh, pairs and squawk a little bit. They look like they're having a good time. Almost come close to landing I think. But so far not a bird has landed on our boat since the little uh, golden finch outside of uh, the Farallon Islands off of San Francisco there. But we are seeing birds every day. Some uh, albatross I believe. Uh, some uh, one of those big gulls they're white with some black on them and uh, yeah flying fish uh, I've been seeing more and more of those some uh, larger schools or swarms as Dave likes to call them of like 20 to 30 flying fish and every once in a while we're finding one uh, that is not so lucky and ends up on our deck dead found this flying fish on deck just a little guy and uh, He's gonna fly right up into my mouth. Oh, look at that, his little eyeball. That was good. So you ate it? Yeah. Holy shit. Are you ready for some more zone? Sorry? What's more zone? Oh yeah. Please. Ready? Orzo.
you pass up the chair too when you get a chance? The downward motion of Dolce is uh, quite side to side. It's uh, something that I think is just a matter of the design on the boat. It's pretty hard to limit that side to side motion as long. We can do our best to get the sails balanced and uh, have the right sail uh, set up. Um, but apart from that, going downwind is just going to be a bit rocky. We've been out at sea now for 24 days. And we are getting very close to Hawaii. We're 50 miles, 50 nautical miles from Hilo, which is where our first landfall will be. We've been uh, expecting now to see the big volcano that's on Hawaii, on the island of Hawaii. Um, there's two volcanoes, but the big one is 14,000 feet. And, uh, but we still have no sight of land. Um, quite the journey. Yeah, it's been uh, a lot of ups and downs and side to sides and rolling and yawing and heaving and swaying and surging. Thankfully no pitch pulling. Uh, yeah, I'd say uh, apart from that little storm, we've been pretty, uh, pretty cruisy here. We've been in the trade winds now for past 10 days at least, knocking off 100 mile days. This is a pretty standard look at what the ocean looks like here. Can you imagine being on this uh, for 24 days? Yeah, you can. <laughs> Still have food. We're about to run out of fuel though. We have plenty of water, plenty of food, including uh, a citrus today. So we're definitely not going to die of scurvy. And I think I've probably gained some weight. Had a chance to rest uh, my body that deals with repetitive motion all the time, but uh, definitely still getting a workout because body's pretty much constantly dealing with G-forces out here. You're just always moving back and forth with the boat. Part of your body will resist at some point. So you either don't hit your head or fall off the boat. Good times.